matching pants today for the boys and we want to talk about your final product. When the pant is all hemmed, you want to have a finger width from the floor to the pant. So you want to make sure that the dancer is wearing their shortest set of heels. So when looking at where the pants should fit, the Latin pants should fit with the waistband right on the hip bones. There should be no pull pucker marks and be nice and smooth. After you've determined how the hemline should be, you want to make sure and pin it in place. Make sure that your four seams are matching up well as you pin so that it is nice and straight as you go. I'm gonna show you how to stitch the hem in. I'm using white thread just so that you can see it against the contrast of the pants. Please use black thread. You want to tie an overhand knot into the thread. Starting at one of the hems, Pick up just a little bit from each side and then run your needle through the double thread like this. It's very important when hemming these pants that you don't tie off to the pant itself but to the thread. Run your needle across the seam. And then again, pick up just a little on each one. This way the thread is hidden inside and won't catch on a heel. Have about a half inch between your stitches. And you don't need to pull real tight because you don't want to pucker the material. When you've gone all the way around and you've finished the hem, you're going to tie off by running your needle under the thread and then knotting it against the thread. You've not picked up any of the fabric fibers when you do this. You want nice small stitches and because we didn't pull the thread real tight there's no puckering and it lays flat and then if you have to go back and take out this stitch is really easy to remove and doesn't leave any marks on the on the material itself which makes it better for when you want to lengthen the pants for a growing boy. Okay, make sure that you knot, as you're doing the stitches, make sure you notch it, at, or knot the thread at the four seams so that if someone steps on their hem, it will hold until they're off the floor and can be repaired. Also, before you gauge your hemline, make sure that you have your dancer dance in the pants so the pants settle in a nice natural position before you measure good luck Let me